Listen, you, you, you people, I'm glad, you know, I've, I've grown this interview. You people have been trying to get a personal interview with me for years. I decided to allow this brief interview with Hollywood uh, reportage. Uh, you know, you think we're all having fun. Um, uh, you know, I happen to be this character one week, ha ha ha. Uh, no, I'm no, wait. One week I'm ha ha ha, and the next week I'm, oh my gosh, I'm having. And you know, uh, I realize that that for every uh, nine dollars a month that you spend on your cable television, we each get fifty cents a piece, and for four hundred thousand cents, that comes to quite an income. But we have to work for that money, and. Uh, and, you know, I just don't show myself for nothing. I studied. I studied with... Uh, so I gave myself up to my career. And, and I played all these parts and made all these millions. I know, I know. We, we made all these millions. And, and I'm sure you don't begrudge us those millions. And, and 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 we did we were ha 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 and ha 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 and and you know I appeared with Danny Fields and Susan Blonde and they're due on the set here now you know I'm always on the set on time but these other these other people that I work for at least you know I I believe in you people out there sitting in in your living room I believe in you dear people it's you that keep us together. So at least I arrive on the fuck on the set, dear, on the on the beautiful set that our our decorator gets put together every week. At least I arrive on time, and I have epilepsy. <laughs> but nevertheless, I managed to get here on time. Compared to the rolls, which is eighteen thousand, yeah. you get the dollar like and cherry better. High teal. Don't you have? What, don't you have a regular account? Here, this is Danny Fields, who made his fame of sticking a light bulb up a friend's, uh, up a friend's thing. And here we have Susan Blonde, who's made quite a bit of money just doing whatever, you know, her inspiration and intelligence has provided her from God and heaven, praying on Sunday and fucking around on Monday. <laughs> And, uh, no, I shouldn't have said that, and such as that. But, but these are people, we are people who've tried to give you everything. We've given you everything we've had. I mean, we've given you everything we've had up to now. Don't think that we're through yet, or we're going to let any of you people who are riding in to try to get jobs on this show, that we're going to go and let you take over our parts. Because we've got these parts, and we've got a lot more imagination left in us. I can't quite think of anything else now to think of about imagination but we've got some left and by God as long as we've got some left now these poor dears they came in talking about money they apparently haven't found out about Choo Choo Laverne the famous accountant who really knows how to fix your books oh I shouldn't say this this is just a little uh, Info for you out there. What broker are you using now? Are you using the same one I sent you two, three weeks ago? I'm using a, a broker. I don't put my money in brokerage. I put my money in uh, Chinese real estate. You know, the, the chinks are taking over. Let's face it. The Sticks had it last year, and now the chinks have got it all this year. The Jews had it a hundred years ago, and the Protestants a couple hundred years ago. But this year, it's chinks. Chinks everywhere. Chink. You can't look at a chink where there isn't a chink. <laughs> and anyway, you got to have a good chink account or you're just finished. Besides, they've got a lot of gangs now. They've got the Taiwanese and they've got the mainlandese. And I prefer the uh, Pekingese. <laughs> now, Susan, would you tell us how you got through making all this after we, since we made all this money on cable TV, what you've been doing with it, or? Oh, well, we just now we were looking for cars, but now I think maybe we should get one of these uh, Peking Expresses or something of that. Then these everyone's things. selling their boats because there's no gas, but that's no problem for us. Sure. Maybe we should get a boat. You can always get gas. 
Well, you can always get gas. You can always get You just have no people that have a lot of money. You know? What do one of the Americans worry about? You just have to have a son who works for the National Star. Uh, the, the Another one I can't believe it. All our goings and comings. Uh, what's, uh, what's your name, dear? Don't make believe with your son. There's no reason for that. <laughs> what is it? Stan Mises. Stan Mises. And you're a party? You look so young. How old are you? Oh, well, why didn't you ask what, what made you come? I don't remember an appointment. I mean, we're not quite ready for an interview right now. We're just uh, discussing our, uh, you know, our past. Oh, no, that's all right. We have to have a star, a reporter. On the is, is this your new paper, the National Star? What circulation would you say that is? Because we don't do any interviews with anything less than a million circulation. A million and a half. A million and a half? All right. We may, I mean, we'll give you a short interview. I don't think we should tell them too much about our, our income because the internal revenue. Well, now that you're a big star and you're on twice a week, you must have a lot coming so, well, in. Sunday night and Wednesday night, 11 o'clock, Channel C. Everyone knows we're rich, but not that rich. Well, what kind of residuals do you collect? Well, we haven't money. collected residuals. We've been making so many new programs for our darling fans, who we love constantly. Oh, well, I guess you want some action, like don't it. you? Yes, they all do. Yeah. You want to see us a little bit. I mean, what makes this show really exciting and stuff? Oh, no, a good, honest reporter just lets things happen as they are. Oh, well, I think we should show him. I think he's asking action. for it. You can tell he's begging for I mean, something, something a little happen, sexier than this. That's something uh, Um. Okay. Show us um, when you're on that signboard all the way across time. Show me when I'm Oh, uh, all right. Um, all right, well, you two. You too, if I show, you have to show. Oh, I sit down. Oh, all right. Well, let's see. This is, we I'm like to win things that are a little bit exciting, but not too exciting. I'm caught in here. Help me out, though. Help me out, though. Susan, one of Susan's ah. big numbers, ah. she's got, she has been caught in, in subway turnstile, <laughs> taxi cab drawers, I mean taxi cab drawers. Taxi cab drawers. <laughs> Taxi cab dresser drawers. She's been caught on a hook in Miami oh, Beach. Is, she's been. This stuff is from Paulson. She she was caught in Bloomingdale's once by the hidden cameras in Bloomingdale's. She's been on every cable system in America because she's one of our biggest shoplifters. You think we make money, Susan? Susan. Said. Danny Fields here is a famous light bulb freak. You remember him in one of our early movies in the early 60s when he shoved a light bulb up a young unsuspecting electrician. Oh. I, I think the reporter is showing he's got some nice muscles. <laughs> well, you got what you want. See, we try to win things that are... Me, Provocative. Does it usually yes, take that long to uh, start in your pants? Nah. And when she starts, I think the shows. National Star reporter here has some uh, pretty muscles to show. Yeah, yeah why don't you take your shirt off? Take my shirt off. There's another shirt underneath. Okay. Anti climax. Oh, that's all right. Let me make it fit a little more flat. This is great. I'll take my wig off because I'm not. But don't have to say this. Remember, you are the reporter. <laughs> Where did you get muscles? Oh, no. Being a writer. <laughs> the pen, the pen is always writer than the story, right? Oh. Now that we have all this extra money, we've decided to stay around and help out you people there at your home in your living room. How? Help you out in any way we can. <laughs> Remember, I'm just like your grandmother. Except I'm more exotic. <laughs> Consider uh, your sex appeal for uh, oh for all the men in Washington Heights who are watching tonight. Now I know that they watch in uh, Washington Heights and Inwood. I have a lot of good friends up there who are watching. Uh, do you think your your sex appeal extends the island of Manhattan? And um, and beyond. Bayonne. You mean to Marble? Bayonne. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonne. It's island of Manhattan and Bayonne. Bayonne. <laughs> um, the core of support is the Bayonne. 
Um, I, I've even met policemen on the street that say, oh, I love your show, you're so sexy. That was really exciting. That is good. And on the subways all the time we get, you know, oh, I mean, we don't travel on the subways anymore. But, but sometimes when people look in our limousines, um... We get flashers as we're trying to enter large buildings in Manhattan. We get these flashers who, who try to get in the revolving door with us and, and flash as they go around twice. And, you know, that's using up too much energy. I think we should put in a plea for energy crisis, energy mm. consummation, or consumption, or whatever, conservation. We should tell the people that we believe in energy conservation, too. We believe that you should leave all the lights in your house burning. You should use up all your petrol. You should burn down all your trees. Because there's plenty where that came, baby. They're just holding it back. <laughs> and drink up all your shit. And just be a million. The millionaires don't even watch those pleas on TV. They just go ahead using it up. So you have a right to use it up too. So use up each other. Uh -huh. Look at the, look at how. After being married a few years. Look at how Danny feels. The light bulbs king. And Susan Blonde, but it did for me. <laughs> Susan Blonde, go behind. who's been cruising the trucks, pretending to be a boy. How the people? Oh, that. <laughs> they're, they're using up energy. Look at them use up energy. You use it up too. Use up all the energy you can, because remember, there. By the time we've used it all up, we'll get to another planet. There are plenty of planets left out there. There are 500 billion planets left, and we haven't even used this one up. So dump your oil slick into the ocean. Pollute your streams. Uh, 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 throw in all the waste matter out on the street. Let your Clark Bar wrappers drop wherever you please. Let your chewing gum wrappers clog up the subway terminal. There's another planet out there somewhere. They're, they'll, they'll be able to find before we use it all up. <laughs> it's, amazing, it's energy. Use up energy. Use up conservation. Understand your behavior. You never rejected before. You used to do this all the time. You used to stick those tits in that lens. Now you're a lady, just because you're making four hundred thousand dollars a year. A day. Sorry. Send us your picture. We're not soliciting money, so you can't be arrested. Or These people like are that. sitting in bars, the jukebox is playing. We're not they can't hear what we're saying. We don't care about our minds. It's our bodies they want. I know, isn't it? and my body takes a lot. I just come back from Greece, Gives and I'm relaxed. Too. <laughs> I mean, you know. Remember when people still went to Rolling Stones concerts? <laughs> Remember when Bayan, Bianchi Dogger, and Freddie Hughes came to our opening? There they are up there with Miles Satan. And remember when I Andy was Warhol, and over there at Edgar Winters or Johnny or wherever. That's Johnny. Johnny. That's when oh, I was Johnny. All albinos look alike. That's when I used to do things. I was a different. And there's person. Wayne County who discovered the doll. And they had the doll <laughs> that he discovered. And there's the doll. And they were still the best time to make it. All of you, I <laughs> and there's John Chamberlain who owes me a lot of money. <laughs> 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 Sarinda, Sarinda Fox. Sarinda. Now she wears Fox, but soon she'll be wearing rabbit. Mm. Come on, Susan, give them both. Come yeah. on, Susan. And tell, give them my number and your tips, and we, okay. might, and we got a deal. I won't give them my tips, but you give them their address so they can write what they. What give them one nip. They can write. No. Well, well I don't think actually we're allowed to give our Give them the top that. pink part of the nip, just the top and not even, even the point. Even if it's free. Aww. No, but you could look a little down here. That's all. That's all. That's oh, all. That's she's got so You people turn to Channel B. She's like Abigail in there. She's holed up in her Spanish mansion. She won't show a thing. Well, I've got my Spanish mansion too, as you can tell by this Tarantella I'm, I'm wearing over my head. Which is otherwise known as the 
sun umbrella in upper North America. But you know, I've retired down here to my Brazilian farm al along with the uh, woman who Peter Pan. Who is that? Mary Martin. Mary Martin. Mary Martin. Mary Martin. I've got the rancho next door. And you know, I appreciate all that I gave to the American public. I mean, they, they appreciate all that I. I mean, nevertheless, Mary Martin and I have it made. So all we can say to, to you people up there north, suffering in the snow and the slush, is why don't you buy a huge ranch in Brazil? It only costs a couple hundred grand down. You know, you grow cocoa trees, you got a couple of 12, 50, 100,000 coming in a year. What are you people all doing up there? Cha cha boom boom, samba samba. Do you want to show them a little dance? That we did it uh, and when we, we came to Rio to visit my rancho. Yeah. Rio Rancho. Rio Rancho. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, we'll do the Guadalupe, huh? Okay, come on, darling. Come, come on. on. I'm the Guadalupe. Guadalupe. We gotta get the light bulb king and the international star reporter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> doing the Guadalupe, huh? 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 Doing the this is for our South American neighbors. So you are all owned by Governor Rockefeller. Most of you are doing the Bamba. <laughs> we hope you're running out of film. For God's sake, this dance was done in my sister Eileen in 1912. <laughs> There is the rumba, this is what the rumba is made out of the rumba. <laughs>